Let's start, though, with how the Labor Party proved last week that cash is still king. The latest foreign donation scandal with the Anti-Corruption Commission probing how $100,000 in cash, allegedly from a Chinese billionaire, turned up at the New South Wales ALP headquarters is a corker of a revelation. We've already had former Senator Sam Dastyari forced out of politics because he was hitting Chinese donors up for his personal bills, spruiking Beijing's foreign policy and warning the Chinese donors that ASIO might be onto them. But they seem to have learned nothing at ALP headquarters. The ICAC hearing continues this week and I reckon it's going to get a lot worse. Not much fun for Labor leader Anthony Albanese. Party's in a diabolical situation. This behaviour is completely unacceptable. Uh, to me, and uh, I find it quite shocking, uh, the revelations. So Albo wants changes, and he's still pushing for a Federal Integrity Commission. There's got to be a cultural problem here. How anyone in any political organisation can think it's OK to be taking bags full of cash is just beyond me. But the person who last led the New South, New South Wales Labor Party in government and who replaced, actually, Sam Dastyari in the Senate, Christina Keneally, she reckons it's as easy as shifting ALP headquarters away from its Sussex Street Chinatown building. There might be a time to look at changing the, the uh, physical location. There's a lot of advantages. We're close to our um, union colleagues in Unions New South Wales. We are a party that's based on the union movement and is representing working people. I don't want to divorce from that. But I do think it's worth considering whether remaining in Sussex Street uh, with all the associations of the past, sometimes to change culture, you have to change environment. And this might be an opportunity to do that. You've got to love that, don't you? Move out of Chinatown, get away from the union offices and it'll all be OK. Get away from all that wheeling and dealing around the lazy Susans of Sussex Street and Labor will suddenly discover integrity and be incorruptible. This is hilarious stuff from Christina Keneally. Kind of typical, really, of Sydney and New South Wales Labor that everything can be sorted out with a deal. Everything comes down to a property deal. Christina, it's not the building that is the prob problem here. It is not the location that is the problem here. And it certainly is not the fault of Chinatown. The problem is the values, culture and character of the people running the ALP in New South Wales. People have to be moved on and out from the Labor Party, not from one particular address to another.